I'm sorry if you've already answered this question. We've been watching the statements uh, from uh, Prime Minister Rama, from your rallies and speeches, and of course, President Mehta's recent position. But nothing seems to have changed, ultimately. <clears throat> Positions have been stated, but Prime Minister Rama insists the elections still happen on June 30th. I want to ask, other than boycott those elections, uh, what do you think that you can do that doesn't polarize and endanger uh, public security, which is what the president is worried about, and what do you think will happen on that day, on June 30th? Thank you. Thank you for your question. A lot has changed in the past week, and certainly a lot has changed, dear sir, since last time we saw each other and you interviewed me. What has most significantly changed is that June 30 is not anymore a constitutional date of elections. As of Monday, the decree of the president has been published and has taken effect. In the current situation where Albania, as no country in the history of parliamentary republics, is left without a constitutional court, there isn't a single authority above the authority of the president to decide on a matter that the president exclusively has been bestowed with. We have, in the words of our international friends, a new political situation in the country since the decree of the president to cancel June 30. This new political situation was perceived by some as a chance to bring the government the illegitimate government of Edi Rama, to the understanding that now it is time to resolve this confrontation between a handful of corrupt politicians, organized crime bosses, and government cronies, and the rest of the Albanian people, to an end through a political solution. Here, too, there is a new change something has changed. Not for us, but for those who have had illusions as far as Mr. Rama's motives are concerned. Mr. Rama has, as you said, said that he will press with a process that is by now not only discredited as illegal and criminal, but also as anti-constitutional. This means that Albania is going towards the condition of a coup d'etat. I have, during this press conference, called upon my citizens to ready ourselves to do whatever European people are forced to do when they are faced with the prospect of an effective coup d'etat. I have full confidence that the power of unity will prevail over the power games that Mr. Rama and a handful of criminals are playing at the expense of the constitutional order, democracy, and peaceful democratic coexistence. You have a follow-up question, sir? Uh, okay. um, does this mean that you will mobilize people to actively resist the implementation of elections on June 30th. It is of fundamental importance for you and your viewers to understand that there are no elections on June 30th, neither legally nor constitutionally. Whatever process is planned by people who should have been behind bars for offenses as grave as drug trafficking and women trafficking, but instead are running for mayor or are, are running campaigns on behalf of Mr. Rama's group, whatever process is planned, it does not resemble elections formally, substantially, and definitely not constitutionally. So, if there is an insistence of this group of people to proceed in the current conditions with a sham, a fake process of voting, this and the other steps 
that have been taken and are being taken are tantamount to coup d'etat and the political opposition will call upon the people of Albania to do nothing less and nothing more than what civilized Western societies would do in similar conditions. Well, you are a European citizen. What would you do if in your country the Prime Minister illegally occupied the judiciary, occupied powers that do not belong, parliamentary powers that do not belong, killed the Constitutional Court and the Supreme Court, was caught stealing the elections with organized crime bosses, was exposed as such through official tapes of the anti-mafia prosecutors by international media, by the largest newspaper in Europe, built, ran some of these people that were exposed, that should have been in jail, as mayors, mobilized the power and the money of organized crime bosses to support them, and refused to obey a presidential decree that June 30 is not anymore an election day. So. You have time to think about what the reaction of your people would be, and I have the time to profit from that to enrich my understanding and my recommendations to the Albanian people for the way we should react.